Part of the former Des Moines University campus officially has a new purpose. DMU moved its new camp moved to its new campus in West Des Moines earlier this year, but the campus at 32nd Street and Grand won't be vacant now. KCCI's Ethan Humble is live outside Ryan Hall to tell us more about a simulation center that would be built there. Ethan. That's right, Stacy. The building behind me is Ryan Hall, and after today's big announcement, it's going to have a new purpose in the future preserving a piece of the university in the city. After the move to its new campus in West Des Moines earlier this year, plans for Des Moines University's old campus have remained unresolved. That was until Dr. Angela Walker Franklin, the school's president and CEO, decided the best use for Ryan Hall, one of the campus buildings. The idea is that, well, we have a ready-made space right here that can be reconfigured and designed in a way that allows them to expand their training opportunities for their students. Those opportunities are coming in the form of a shared regional simulation center with other educational agencies in the area. The 90,000 square foot facility will feature medical simulation technology and will also provide training spaces for regional schools health sciences programs. DMU partnered with Polk County, DMACC, DMPS, and Mercy College of Health Sciences to make the project happen. DMPS Superintendent Ian Roberts says the center will help as a way to keep Des Moines students in the city. We are poised to become, as a pre-K-12 public school system, um, truly a future ready force in terms of health sciences and we're looking forward to our, our role in being a part of the pipeline. Franklin says Ryan Hall was the perfect spot to open up the center. Not just physicians, but all health professionals, they learn through simulation. So this building was a, was a home of our simulation before we relocated to West Des Moines. It's building partnerships to address a much larger crisis. So when we think about the shortages and the wait time it takes to get into these clinics, and so if we're going to solve our challenges, our challenges of today, we have to do it together. And Franklin says that while there are plenty of exciting changes coming to Ryan Hall, plans are still yet to be made for any of the other campus buildings. Those will remain vacant until further notice. But the planning, the design, and then also the execution of the project on Ryan Hall is set to take about a year. Live in Des Moines, I'm Ethan Humble, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. Okay, Ethan, thank you.